Welcome to a basic overview of the alternating treatment single subject design. This design allows for an effectiveness comparison of two or more intervention strategies on a single target behavior. This is in direct contrast to the multiple baseline design which compares the effects of a single intervention on multiple target behaviors. The ultimate goal of this design is to compare which intervention strategy is most effective by evaluating their impact on a single target behavior. An alternating treatments design would work well for a teacher who wants to compare the effects of two math interventions on a student's basic multiplication ability. To successfully implement an alternating treatments design, the first step is to operationally define the target behavior and select two or more potential interventions. The second step is to collect baseline data for the target behavior. The third step is to ensure that the interventions are alternated properly. The learner should be exposed to each intervention an equal number of times. The order each intervention is implemented should be randomized and counterbalanced to minimize carryover effects. The interventions themselves can be implemented in the same session, which means the first intervention would be followed by the second. From one session to the next, an example of which would be one treatment in the morning and one in the afternoon. Or on successive days, an example of which would be one intervention is on Monday and the second is on Tuesday. Remember that for whichever setup is used, the interventions must be randomized and implemented an equal number of times for an equal duration. In this example graph, it is clear that one intervention has a significantly greater effect on the target behavior than the other. These next two example graphs show no difference between treatments. The top graph shows that neither intervention demonstrated control over the dependent variable, while the bottom graph shows that the interventions demonstrate control over the dependent variable, they overlap and increase in a very similar way, meaning that neither intervention has a significantly stronger effect on the target behavior. I hope this helped to make the alternating treatments design clearer. Thanks for watching.